I do not have a refrigerator right now. No. I'm waiting on that. It died. Yeah, I mean, Should we I have that. Them but the refrigerator? Not on the inside, because that, <laughs> that's really turned bad for the past few days. I don't know what happened, because we took everything out. And, then and we just, cleaned it, but it got, like, moldy in there. It, um, and we need to take it out. I'm just going to censor it. We can show it, but... Um, <laughs> no one... <laughs> <laughs> hey everyone i know on a couple videos earlier you saw that our refrigerator went out and um a new refrigerator is a lot of money we've been looking and we can't really afford one right now so we've been using a tiny little dorm refrigerator for the last couple weeks and my neighbor told me he had a refrigerator in his old cabin and gave it to me if i wanted it so this is a refrigerator I got and I love it. It's fun size. First time I've ever been able to look over a refrigerator. It's freaking awesome. Our kitchen is so tiny in this old house. Back in the old days, I mean, every, every room was smaller. They didn't have uh, big closets or big kitchen. When Aunt Gertrude lived here, we had outhouses outside still. So this will be perfect in my kitchen. I'm so excited because it works well. It must have been probably from the 50s, I'm guessing. I love anything vintage. But look inside. It has the egg holders inside here. So I'm going to scrub it. This is what, um, I mean, there are probably people that never have to ever worry about you getting something used and fixing it up because maybe you have unlimited income and you could buy something as soon as, as you need it. My entire life, I've always had to just kind of wing it and make whatever I can do, make it work. So... I'm excited about this project. I'm trying to get it cleaned up now. I'm gonna scrub it with bleach and stuff, and then we're gonna sand it. Then I have appliance paint. We're gonna paint it, and um, let's see how it goes. So hopefully we'll have a fridge again. We haven't really been able to have milk, um, eggs. The last few weeks we've just had to do without that stuff. Mm, it's really been a pain. Yeah, I mean, you can't even have, like, lunch meat. There's so many things you need to put in a refrigerator that you don't even realize until you don't have a refrigerator. I think it'll be pretty cool, and I love the fact that it's small. It doesn't have a freezer in it, but I have a huge deep freeze, so that's not even necessary. So, I'm excited to see what it looks like when I finish. I thought about painting it maybe, like, red or something really retro, but we all decided that white was the best way to go. So, I'm going to get the majority of the dirt off here. This has been in a, his cabin for a long time. That's coming off pretty decent. Oh, yeah. There's dad pulling in. Against the wall or something. Amazing what a little soap, water, and paint can do. So the way I've decided to get the mold out of the rubber on the sides here is I'm using Comet. I already put bleach water in it. Now I take a toothbrush and I'm just scrubbing all the way deep down in there. Let the bleach water sit on it for a little bit and then I'll rinse it and we'll see if it works or if I need to go at it again. Let's see if it, if it comes a little cleaner. Yeah, it's gonna come better for sure. All the black is almost already gone. Yeah, the black parts are pretty much gone. It's still a little discolored, but that looks much, much better. Just so everybody knew how I was trying to get the mold out. That's how I did that. Ha <laughs> 
so funny. You know, it's the way my... <gasps> I wow, did it! it. Mm. <laughs> I couldn't turn it off. I have carpal tunnel in both hands, bilateral. It's a metabolic condition, so I drop things all the time. Have a hard time holding on to things. It's all autoimmune, and it has all stemmed from early childhood trauma. So people don't understand as adults, things that happen to us early in our development carries over into adulthood. And that's part of why I started Shattered Bones, to help people understand why you have autoimmune disorders or why you have um, anxiety issues or depression and you don't understand why. Perhaps it goes all the way back to your childhood. So it's worth looking into if you had some things happen that were traumatizing, if you lost a parent early or something like that and you have and you're very ill right now, look into trauma therapy because it's helped me more than any of the doctors have been able to. They just keep giving me medicine for different problems that I have and that's not helpful. I mean, it does ease the muscle cramps and eases the pain a little, but I don't want to be on medicine the rest of my life. Just have to wipe it all down, get all the dust off of it. We moved it Probably back. mentioned that we moved it and why. Yeah, we moved it back out of the front of the house because I didn't want my rock porch painted white. And if it gets paint on the grass, it'll just grow up. It'll grow fast and we'll mow it down. I have to wipe everything down, get all the dust off of it, then dry it really well. And then we're ready to start painting. It doesn't look a whole lot better on camera, but it's definitely better than it was. I mean, to it's feel it, smoother. it feels good. It's yeah. real smooth. Although it has the marks on it, it's all smooth now. It'll look, it won't look perfect when it's done, but it'll look a lot it's, better. It's an old refrigerator. It's not going to be perfect, just like me. <laughs> 53 we're not perfect anymore but what's so funny is this refrigerator made in probably the 50s is still running in 2020 they don't make things to last nowadays everything is made to be temporary even relationships and i hate that don't laugh at me for bringing that relationship stuff in everything is temporary today nobody wants to put any work in to keep anything going or keep anything alive they just want to throw it away and get something new and shiny and young again <laughs> and that's not how life works you want somebody that is willing to grow old with you through the good know, times and the bad like this old fridge should you just pour water on the back of it like that well i just poured it behind this because i couldn't reach behind it to clean it so i was just trying to get the dust off of it <laughs> well i mean it'll work or it won't uh. okay i'm gonna dry it now hey pops Oh, hell. I don't know if it'll hey. stay the ear on it or not. Well, they're making my glasses fog up because I'm so... You know, this is breathing on your face. Wetty. When replacing light bulb, use same size and wattage, 25 watt. Oh, there's a light bulb for it. Well, how about that? And it does have a freezer. I was said it didn't have a freezer when I first looked at it, but look at it. Hilarious. Well, aluminum. It's even, oh. Does it have a date on that? I thought it said deposit instructions. Defrost I was instructions. Like, I was so like, I'm going to have to defrost this. Do not scrape frost. Allow it to melt. I'm going to scrape it. Defrosted water collected in the chiller tray. So I guess this is our chiller tray. I tried to paint, but I get too close and I squirt too hard. And then <laughs> I was just fucking it all up. So he kind of took over because he said that. I was just going to make a mess of it. We're going to have to re-sand it all and do it all over again. And you don't have the best track record when it comes to and, the spray you know, painting. Let's, to, on my defense, let's say part of it could be from the carpal tunnel. I don't have a whole lot of strength oh, in my hands. Oh, yeah. You're blaming and on that. most people who, if you don't have metabolic carpal tunnel, my uh, neurologist said that you could get a surgery and it just takes care of it right away. Clint actually had that done. It took away the pain immediately. Because mine is metabolic, I'm just screwed. You just got to live with it. This is like, like Grandpa said, he said, well, heck, he said that one's like a double wide trailer compared to the one we're using now. Yeah, that's just one of the, like, it's a three, three cubic feet foot one or whatever. Yeah, it's like it, a dorm room size. Office. It's like a little college dorm room. Yeah. <laughs> Coats on it already, so it looks 
So much better. It looks better. a lot better, yeah. So much better. So, um, we're gonna... Really, the sanding really did do a trick. You can't... There's really no bumps or anything. So, we're gonna try to let it dry a little, and then open it and paint a little bit on the inside, on the edges here, just to, you know, protect it. So, that's yeah. the end of the refrigerator project. Well, yeah, well, we'll see it when it's done. I mean, I'll... We'll show it when we're probably going to it and everything. They have a persimmon tree here, so I picked all these persimmons. Some of them are not completely ripe, so I'm going to set those out to, to ripe like you would a tomato. And then from the ripe ones, I'm either going to make persimmon pudding or persimmon jam, so I'll kind of show you that when I'm doing it. We've also like started three or four new trees off of our persimmon tree. Yeah, this tree's been here for uh, probably 150 years, so I'm learning how to propagate the trees so that I can get more. So I've got about four or five persimmon trees growing. We have a hickory nut tree here, so I'm getting starts of the bit. Next to the hickory tree is a mulberry tree. That Those follow in the spring. And then we have a pear tree that's um, in another part of the pond. So I'm gonna learn how to propagate the pear tree too. So it's kind of neat to have the trees that actually my ancestors ate fruit off of. We're still eating fruit off of. Oh, well, off. I don't know. The pear tree is not in great shape. I don't know if we can. I think we can propagate it from a stem. <clears throat> Hopefully, because it'd be nice to keep it and around. Then, yeah, you know, Dawson's the sixth generation on this farm, so it's pretty cool that we're all still able to enjoy the the farm. Yeah, yeah that kind of note. If you don't know my story, you can go to uh, shatterbones.com. My whole story's there. I add to it and off and on, but not. Uh, and your Facebook page, but. Yeah. We'll put the links in the description below mm -hmm. so they can learn my story if they don't know it. Alright. Hey. Okay. So I guess we'll probably share the fridge when it's done later. But. Yep. Till next time.